I really wish the Reaper would only show up, like, once a run, maybe. Okay, I can get a random common relic or conf... Uh... Get a random common relic. Huh. Extra dexterity. Alright, sure. Mystery machine is not... Looking great. We got... Whatever the hell this is. Um... A lot of bonfires over here. I could go these guys? I mean, we got two here, two here, but the problem is it locks me into this direction. Which isn't bad, but it's boring. None of these are good. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I should... Okay, one, two... The main thing is there's extra bonfires, but there's no point in bonfires if... So if I, if I just go this way, we can choose here if we want to get a bonfire or a mid-boss. Mid yeah, let's do that. Okay, and this guy is a pain in the butt. He's like the cultist, but slightly less problematic. Ha! Oh, that's okay. Oh, right, because we start with the, the dex. Just having that singular dex is actually going to be really helpful for this run. Yeah, I wish there was something that would, uh, that would ignore his, like, uh, his damage-ignoring capabilities. The Reaper. Oh well, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I should have gone with the Lizard Tail. I don't know how much it would have made a difference though. Uh, cause I would have been significantly more injured going into that fight. As a result, I, it doesn't matter. Let's see. I mean, pretty much when it comes down to it, I'll I'll be fine. We'll see if I do another uh, beefy Mc, uh, kill strong run or not. Draw two cards. Place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Lose five HP. I'm just going to go do Twin Slash. It's always good. Oh, going up here. I'd like to do a blocker run if I can. Probably actually take the damage on this guy. Should have hit him with the uh, with bash. Because not taking damage is not actually that helpful against this jerk. Uh, we'll just block once. Cut the damage by six. But yeah, the the Reaper specifically is a very direct counter to. Um, he's a very direct counter to. Almost all of my strategies. Um, a high defense run would probably have no problem with the Reaper. But my poison run gets especially ruined by it. Uh, I could go body slam. Dual wheel would be... I mean, do we want to go... Do we want to try going for a block build? The problem is I didn't see barricade show back up... Uh, show up at all. Yeah, we should go with a block build. If I've got a... If, I got, if I've got uh, dex. If I've got uh, dex right now, then absolute, absolutely want to go that direction. Alright, it's time to spin the wheel. Let's see if I take damage again. I think I've only taken damage from this thing. Nope, I get gold. I wits win some gold. I win 100 gold. Hell yeah. Okay, 60 out of 800. Or, 800. 60 out of 80. Now, this is just a slaver. Oops. Whoops. 
There we go. Yeah, so I'll, I'll see if I can go with a, uh, a beef strong uh, don't die ever run. Defend, defend, and body slam. Okay, he's got just a little bit too much HP. Oh well. He's gonna do what? One to me? I'll be fine. Oh no, I've been weakened. Whatever will I do? Yeah, if I... Oh, if I could get plated armor or things. Okay, true grit. But it exhausts a random card in my hand. But if I use it at the end... I'm gonna go True Grit. I'm gonna commit. Yeah, I need Blockade. Yeah, I do. What's in my deck right now? So, I could go fight the mid-boss. We're gonna have another... We're gonna have s several. If I follow the mystery machine, we're gonna have several bonfires. I could go for. Let's go for the bonfire first. We're gonna smith up a card, specifically True Grit. Because True Grit is. Um, True Grit is really useful or really useless, depending on how things go. This sucks. Uh, let's go for the Acid Slime. The guy in the front's technically more dangerous, but the acid slime gives me wounds from what I remember. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. So we'll do a block, a body slam, just because. Yeah, this is why I wanted to get True Grit. Let's see if I draw some of those wounds. Hell yeah, I do. Still gonna take some hits here. Eh, it's risky. Well, not risky. We'll be fine. I'm surprised we're actually fighting both of these guys here. But like I said, we're fine. Okay, so let's defend. Let's just kill this guy. I guess I'll just keep body slamming him. It doesn't really do much. Okay. So he's gonna do that. He's gonna be defending on this next turn. I'm not gonna be... He's got six. Well, I'll block once and... Bash him. Yeah, jaw worms aren't bad normally, but... This is kind of annoying. Alright, so let's do defend, let's do defend, and we'll hit him with a body slam. Uh, bash. Twin strike. Eat the damage. I guess I could have actually done a dex potion on this, now that I'm thinking about it. Whatever. Okay, so what do we get? Inflame, anger... Inflame would be helpful early on. It's kind of useless later. I kind of want to just skip this. Yeah, let's sk skip this, because... Well... <laughs> the other option is actually I could go... I could get the Evolve card. Let's get Evolve. Maybe? No, whenever you draw a wound, draw a card. Anger is decent, but it's not what I'm looking for. None of these are useful. Like, Evolve would be nice, but since we got True Grit, I can just, uh, wipe them. Ish. I'm gonna keep my deck very light here. Did I go the right direction? I did. Yep, okay, so I, I took some hits. Let's heal.
Okay, thread and needle. Yes! That helps. Okay, so now I just have plated armor. Which is incredibly good. Because now I just more or less get five free armor every round. Unfortunately, it's only gained at the end of my turn, sort of, but that's fine. Alright, defend, defend, and body slam. Yeah, so the plated armor will come into effect if I get barricade. Won't come into effect any other way. Hopefully I get barricade along the way here. Alright, uh... I'd like to use true grit on one of those wounds, but I cannot. I guess we'll just split him. Okay. Defend, body slam, strike. I guess neither of them are going to attack me, so I could have just... took swings at him. Oh well. Let's see. If I do bash... And then Twin Strike, it'll just kill him. And then he's just gonna keep licking me. Okay. So let's do True Grit. Lose the Strike. Take no damage. I don't know, block for no reason. Hopefully we get a Barricade Plus fairly early on in this run. Because that would actually... That would actually make this real easy. Alright, so, defend, body slam, strike. Kind of playing it super safe here, but that's, that's part of the beauty of this, this whole build. You get to be real safe. Most of the time. Poison is scary, but I don't actually have a whole lot of enemies that use it on me. Fire breathing, the end of your turn for each attack played, nope, iron wave. Let's keep rolling the, uh, the Scaredy Mystery Machine. Alright. I get the shovel! Yes! Alright, let's take a look at a map. We've got... We got options. Um... I'd like that rel... I'd like a relic. Well... Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna dig. We get the bag of preparation. Cool. And then we're gonna go up this way. I'm just gonna skip mid mid bosses. Yeah, digging left. Who needs to go after uh who needs to go after mid bosses? I certainly don't. Alright. Um Okay, let's do Iron Wave. Strike and strike. There we go. Yeah, I'd like to get the ability that hits all enemies. Oh shit, we didn't fight the birds at all the last round. It's kind of nice, actually. I don't like the birds that much. And now I have been weakened. Well, kill him. We're gonna take 12 damage. I'm just gonna avoid it all. I want to, uh, I want to come out of these as unscathed as possible. Because if we can go to the next bonfire, slightly better healed. Okay. I'll just defend and I'll just strike this guy. Yeah, if I can go to the next bonfire, I, if I can just go from bonfire to bonfire digging up relics, that'll make my life just so much easier. There we go. Alright. What do we get? Armaments. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Cleave would be nice, but armaments fits so well into what I do. Who I am. Well then. I want to take a look at these. And then I'm going to buy Apotheosis. Now we could get... I could do some things. Or I could pay to remove uh, one of my strikes. Get 
Gain 30 block and exhaust. I can't buy Impervious, unfortunately. Perfected Strike is garbage. Thunderclap is kind of helpful. But yeah, none of these are... None of these are really good. Shrug It Off is really good, actually. Let's get Shrug It Off. And... I'm gonna get rid of one of my strikes. I probably shouldn't do more than that, though. Because it'll get expensive. Alright, let's dig up another random relic. Which gives us Anchor. Which is nice. We still don't have Barricade, though. Well, ain't that fancy. Alright, so we start with Apotheosis. And then we become stupid. Alright, uh... Well... Body Slam seems like the way to go. Yeah, we'll do Body Slam... And then just strike him a couple of times. Kinda of tempted to use the Dex Potion on this one. Yeah, let's drink the Dex Potion before I forget. That's gonna make this guy mad easy. Alright, so shrug it off. So he's going to do, what, 24 damage? So if I defend and then I just twin strike him, that's good enough. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of body slams here. Which I would very much enjoy. Well, this kind of makes armaments pointless. I'm not, I'm going to go out of my, I'm going to go out of my way to ignore getting armaments from here on out. Because we don't need it. It'll be helpful, but we don't need it. So... It's gonna hit me for six. Alright, so we're gonna do Bash, Iron Wave, and then Body Slam. And Seer. Well, we do have True, true Grip for a reason. Let's see if I can bring the Seer back. I can't. That's fine. Alright, uh, do I bash him, add vulnerable? Yeah, let's just roll the vulnerability. Okay. I don't remember him blocking ever. I guess he does, I just don't remember it. But yeah, having Apotheosis as a starting card is amazing. Apotheosis is a... Is Apotheosis a power? I really wish I could look at it. Okay, well, not much I can do here. I guess let's do everything in order. No, Apotheosis is a skill. So if we get lightning in a bottle, if we see it come by, we can start with Apotheosis. That has some insane bull hockey with it. All right, so let's start with... Let's start with that. Uh, shrug it off. Defend. Armament. True Grit. Uh, let's just do Defend. He is almost dead. This is fun. I I love the sheer amount of like weird builds and combos that you can get that just kind of break your character. It is so satisfying. Alright, so what do we get? Juggernaut would be absurd. All right. Curse key is scary. White beast statue could be interesting. Velvet choker seems problematic. I don't like cursed key cuz that's scary. The white beast statue means I can pretty much pop a potion every combat if I wanted to. Whereas the velvet uh, velvet choker Yeah, let's go velvet choker. Uh we if we we're running the silent, I'd say no to the velvet choker. But, since we're running this guy, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we pretty much want to hunt bonfires. But 
There's a really good mystery machine here. Couple, really, if I want to go shopping. I don't have much money for shopping, though. Because we got a bonfire kind of here. But what I can do is go up to this one, ping pong over here. It doesn't look like we've really got any bonus bonfire. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. If I come over to this side, we get more bonfires. And pretty much still mystery machine. So we're going far left. I, I missed one of those those bonfires there. All right. What do we got? Well, armaments is always satisfying. Let's upgrade Iron Wave. I might not be able to get through him here. But he's certainly not going to be able to get through me. This might be a bit of a problem run. Until we get Apotheosis. And Juggernaut. And defend, and defend, and body slam. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, this is going to go great. Oh, well, maybe not here. This actually kind of sucks. Well, I could pop the block potion. Hey, -o. All right, uh, let's hit him with a bash. Hit him with a twin strike, the regular strike, and then the body slam, and he's dead. Uh, let's keep doing Iron Wave. Corruption is too scary. I'm not. I'm not willing to use that. All right. So let's load Juggernaut, and then just defend and defend. Probably could have actually just hit him there, but it wouldn't have done that much more damage. Dazed is going to be a serious problem in this, though. There's Apotheosis. Alright, now we can deal with everything. Alright, uh... Let's do Shrug It Off. Iron Wave. Twin Strike. And Regular Strike. Yeah, so Hex is a problem. You can stack Juggernauts. Yeah, I know. Oy. Iron Wave, Iron Wave. Should have actually done the bash first now that I'm thinking about it. And nothing I'm going to be able to do is going to be able to mitigate all that damage. But he's only going to be able to hit me with that. Yeah, if we get another Juggernaut though, I will absolutely, I will absolutely add it to the pot. Block Potion, okay. Pommel Strike is amazing. Let's go Pommel Strike. Normally I wouldn't use it, but the because I have all the extra energy, we can just roll extra cards. Uh, let's do Bash, Pommel Strike. There goes Juggernaut. Guess I shouldn't have Bashed. Oh, well, that's fine. We don't need Juggernaut that badly. And now things are going to get weird. Alright, so, Iron Wave, Strike, I have more than enough defense, I guess we'll just hit him with a Twin Strike. Wait, Dexterity doesn't affect Anchor or Plated Armor? No, it doesn't. Dexterity only increases block gain from cards, not relics. I wish they would uh, apply, but oh well. Oh, and I can't use the, uh, the body slam. I would have wrecked him. Oh, well. We really need barricade. Do we drink it or do we just eat the damage? It'll be 16 damage. What are we up against after this? Mystery, mystery, and then bonfires for days. 
I'm not actually going to fight anything for a while. I'll just soak the damage. I guess I would have killed him if I had drank the block potion. Still. Seems like a better idea just to save it. Yeah, we could have killed him a little bit faster, but whatever. Well, Iron Wave. We're still not finding Barricade, but my defense is kind of good enough. Remove all strikes. Gain five bites. Yep. Alright, so now I can heal myself. Worth it. Okay, so let's do Shrug It Off. Defend. Defend. And Bite. Yeah, goodbye maximum HP. But, I'm gonna heal like two HP constantly. Seems worth it to me, especially because now we get Bite Plus, whatever that does. Which more or less just makes me into a uh, unbeatable monstrosity. There will still be things that kill me, but this'll... Save my butt. I guess I could have actually... Oh wait, I could have used the Twin Strike in there. I wasn't counting. I, I forget that uh, Body Slam Plus has zero cost. And there goes all my energy. This is going to hurt a bit. But again, can heal. Uh. Okay, so let's start with the bite. Then the iron wave. Armament, and then defend. And there he goes. Okay, we're fine. I don't like any of these. Keep digging up random relics. We get bag of marbles. It's not great. I almost kind of wish you could sell uh, bags of marbles. Let's see skill: lose three HP, gain two strength, exhaust. Do we pay hundred gold for Jax? Yeah, sure. Jax is really not that big of a deal now that I have a self-heal. Self-forming clay. Whenever you lose HP in combat, start with three extra block. Alright, I'll take it. Okay, we get Lantern. Start with extra energy. Worth it for me. Alright, we get a Merchant. Let's see. Yeah, none of these are particularly amazing. Flex... Uh, battle Trance might not be a bad idea. Let's pick up Battle Trance. Deck manipulation that costs nothing is absolutely something I'm interested in messing around with. Now we have another bonfire, which means another free relic. Yeah, let's keep doing that. And we get Obamori. This is such a weird run. And then we gotta go fight things because I need... I need Barricade. If I, if I can get my hands on Barricade, we really do become unstoppable. Alright, so let's pop Juggernaut. Jax. Which is straight strike through, but that's fine. Iron Wave. And Twin Strike, which... Stuns the bird? Stuns the bird. And then I guess we'll defend. Wow. Yeah, going Velvet Choker is perfectly acceptable if you're running Ironbound. He doesn't have enough uh, energy manipulation. Okay, so he's going to hit me. I guess let's do Armaments. Buff the Bite? Yeah, let's buff the Bite. Let's keep healing. Yeah, the days is kind of gonna suck, but I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, just imagine if I had barricade on top of all of this, though. Mm, 
nom 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 nom. Yeah, bite is stupidly good. I will always get bite if I can. Alright, well, there's not much I can do about this. Let's do defend, pommel strike, bo body slam. I could have done some other things, but this is fine. Warcry might be good. Thunderclap? Not really. Armaments is nice. Yeah, Thunderclap is nice, but not for this one. I'm gonna do Warcry. And... I think I'm gonna skip out on the Explosive Potion. Okay. Do we go to the shop? No, let's just keep fighting fighting dudes. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, more armaments would be nice, but we start with Apotheosis. Which kind of makes serious differences. Okay, let's go for the Slaver first. Uh, let's see, so they're going to be hitting me for 19 damage. I've got enough. I guess I'll do a Pommel Strike. I'm hoping I can get a Body Slam. I'll take a Jax. And that's it for my turn. Yeah, going going for the defense run is fun. The sad thing is like you really do want Barricade. Because if you can get your hands on Barricade, then just everything falls in line for you. I'll just Twin Strike this guy. Defend... And what do we do to him? I guess I'll bash him. It's gonna be it's gonna take forever to get through the shell parasites. Armor never mind. Right? Because the um His armor wears off at the beginning of his turn and I do damage to him at the beginning of his turn. Well that's fancy. Alright. Well, let's do shrug it off. Iron wave. Iron wave. Defend. And then body slam to kill him off. Hell yeah! Still doesn't do as much damage as some of my, like, crazy rollover moves, but that's fine. I'm still not really interested in any of these. I'm keeping this deck as light as I can. I'm really hoping we can get Barricade before the final boss, though. Alright, uh, let's see, what do we have? I guess I'll lead with Pommel Strike. We'll see what happens from there. Battle Trance. Apotheosis. I only have a couple more moves that I can do. So we might as well do Iron Wave. Iron Wave. And that's it for my turn. Yeah, the extra card manipulation is really handy. I'm still hoping we can get uh, Lightning in a Bottle. But if we can't, that's okay. So Warcry costs nothing with this. That's cool. All right, let's um, put Defend back. Hit him with Iron Wave. And then Body Slam. And then we're not going to take any damage. Yeah! All right, shrug it off. Gets me Jax, which I can immediately... Just heal back with Bite. Hell yeah, Jax. Alright, and we get Thunderclap plus. Eh, it's not bad. Whenever you play an attack this turn, game 4 block. Let's get Rage. That actually, that fits in well. Ish. Kunai. Every three, three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. That fits really well, and hello this dude. I vaguely remember the Collector. Alright, well, there's Apotheosis. There's Jax. Um, 
Um, rage is kind of pointless. And that gets me one dex. Yes! Alright, so I'm going to... I'm going to just be scaling up here in a different manner. I remember these guys. This is a really hurdy group. Let's do Warcry. And let's put True Grit away. Honestly, I kind of regret picking up True Grit. Juggernaut. Uh, Pommel Strike on one of the Torch Heads. Battle Trance. Iron Wave. And I can't do any more. Damn it. But we did kill one of them. I'll take it. Do I drink a... I'll drink a Block Potion. My inventory is getting pretty full anyway. But yeah, I gotta really push the kunai... Uh, kunai thing. Yeah, True Grit can get rid of curses. There, you have a very good point on the, that one. Alright, so let's do Shrug It Off. Holy crap! Oh, because it's Juggernaut Plus! That's why it does so much damage. Okay, up. Uh, I'm back up to full health. If I. So I'm at three. I could defend. No, I'll just. Bite him and then body slam him for 27. And that gets us one further dexterity. Alright, so he summoned a friend. Said friend ain't really gonna last long in this. Let's do twin strike and then just bite. Because he's not hitting me. I think he's buffing, probably. I don't know. Why is this actually one of the more successful runs I've ever had? Uh, oof, debuffs. Well, eh, debuffs aren't so bad. Alright, so what do we got? Rage is kind of pointless. Let's see what Shrug It Off gets me. Battle Trance, which I'm very appreciative of. I would have liked to do uh, Body Slam, but that's okay. Yeah, so he's just going to keep summoning dudes. And I'm just going to kill them by juggernauting it. That's hilarious. He just can't, he can't deal. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess we actually do have to attack it this time. It just, if only I had Barricade as part of all of this, I would be unstoppable. Okay, well, Shrug It Off gets me Pommel Strike, which gets me Iron Wave and Bite. Yeah, and the beautiful part is. I just am slowly scaling up my dexterity, which means my defenses only get stronger from a turn-by-turn -turn basis. Alright, uh, let's take a look at this. Well, Battle Trance is a good one. Let's do Iron Wave. I'm trying to think. If we had another Iron Wave, we'd be golden. I guess I could just Twin Strike this guy. Defend, defend, and I would have liked to Body Slam, but that's okay. Well, I could have defended and then Body Slam, but I did not realize I had that much armor. But that's okay. I mean, just, just being kind of the, uh, being untouchable is great, too. There it is! Thank God! Alright, so we got Lizard Tail, that, or. Runic Pyramid would be fascinating with this. Lizard Tail would keep me alive, and Eternal Feather, I don't know. We don't need a li uh, Eternal Feather. Lizard Tail would save my ass. Runic Pyramid would mean um, I could just roll whatever I want. I've got a very small deck pool. Ish. Yeah, let's just go tail. Runic Pyramid is honestly kind of scary. Uh, 